Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a good week. Uh, today's video is a very specific one. It's a smoky eye for a lot of people who have hooded eyes, uh, whose lids fold, who have monolids, or simply who don't have a lot of lid space. Uh, I'm starting off with priming the face. I'm using a uh, you know a pack cosmetic primer and just massaging it all uh, around the face. You know you really have to massage the primer well into the face. I'm using uh, MAC foundation NC40 and buffing it into the skin. I'm going to make sure to buff it really well so it really catches the original skin tone of the client. Always give your foundation about 10 to 15 minutes to settle to get to know the exact color. Once that's done, I'm using NC42 by MAC and just shading the contour areas of the face. Once I'm done with that, I'm using NC40 and just buffing it on the entire skin. I'm using this blush by Lakme. Uh, don't quite like the pigmentation too much as you can see I need to go on and on uh, you know to get that really good peachy color but I really like the shade it's a really nice shade. Uh, this brick highlighter is by Sivana. I ordered it from Amazon. Uh, it's a dupe of Bobbi Brown brick highlighters really nice as you can see the pigment is really nice it's, uh, the color payoff is really good it's really showing very beautifully. The next part I'm moving to the eyes and I'm just shading the eyebrows. Always remember if you're going for a heavy look, just don't forget, don't ignore the eyebrows because uh, if you have a really heavy eye look and your eyebrows don't look uh, dark and thick and nice, then the whole look doesn't pull off together. Now I'm taking two shades, a black and a dark brown and you can use a black and dark brown from any palette that you have. I am using my Dose of Colors palette and I am just using uh, two blending brushes, one is small in size and one is a big fluffy blending brush. So I'm going to start off with just uh, applying the black eyeshadow on the lids. And then I'm going to take a round uh, fluffy blending brush and just going to keep on blending the brown so that the, there's no harsh line between the black and brown and they look really nice and blended. But you have to really go back and forth to, you know, uh, make sure that it's looking really nice. So as you can see my client did not have much of a lid space and now with the uh, with the eyeshadow on you can see her eyes look bigger her lids look bigger and the whole idea is to make it make her eyes look more round and big once I'm done with that I'm using a really dark kajal and lining the whole uh, waterline and then I'm setting it with black eyeshadow I'm again going with my small round uh, blending brush and just buffing it on the lower lash line so it looks more smoked out. Since we've worked with shades of brown and black which are pretty dark colors there has been fallout and so I'm going to reapply the concealer and just you know make sure the under eye area is really standing out and you know looking highlighted once I'm done with that I'm again going to set it with a MAC NC40 
and again reapplying the highlighter. This look does not require an eyeliner and we don't need to do any wing or anything like that. Uh, we need to make the eyes look more rounded so I'm straight away diving into the mascara and the lashes. And finishing off the look with like a baby pink nude lipstick. This is again a really old shade from Lacme that I had and uh, it's a beautiful shade goes with the whole look. You can see the eyes look bigger. It's blending well and the client looks really nice. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.